your temperature, cause Griffin Rock has dolphin fever. Hello everyone, I'm Huxley Prescott and this is opening day of the Dolphin Wonder Festival. Sir, I had no idea Griffin Rock possessed this many licensed drivers. A lot of visitors, Chase. They come over on the ferry. First day of the festival is always like this. I must admit, I fail to see the appeal of watching identical sea mammals swim past the island. I just hope it turns out better than last year. Hardly any dolphins showed up. <laughs> the mayor resorted to wearing a dolphin suit to keep the tourists from leaving. He made little kids cry. We're now here at the marina, where I spy with my little eye a glint of sunlight, a clump of seaweed, or maybe the first dolphin of the festival. on it. Leaving now. On our way. Copy that. Chase, time to stretch your legs. Gladly, sir. Whoa, whoa, hit the skids! Ah, just close your eyes. and rescue robots, only here in Griffin Rock. I'm Huxley Prescott. More cars. I really shouldn't be leaving. Oh, go have fun, Dad. We'll be fine. We can take care of ourselves. Please stay! The last time Cade was in charge, he made us wax the garage floor. Nothing wrong with seeing your reflection when you look down. Well, my reflection. Don't worry, Chief. We can handle anything the festival or Cade can throw at us. I only wish I could accompany you to the Peace Officers Conference. It sounds most informative. Yeah, but always way too long. Nevertheless, please take copious notes. Kids, since Doc and Frankie are out of town, I've asked someone to keep an eye on things. That's code for babysitter, isn't it? Oh, believe me. He's no babysitter. Hello, family of heroes. Uncle Woodrow. Welcome back. I thought you were on safari. Wait, is this Grandpa's old convertible? <laughs> the old jalopy itself. He had some fun joyriding around in this old tuna boat, didn't we, Charlie? Uh, best car ever. Indeed. And how are 
are my favorite humans and aliens. Explains on aliens, eh? A little louder. The rest of the island didn't hear you. What? You're still keeping that a secret around here? Yes, and so are you. Oh, gotcha. But hey, Cybertronians, let's chat later, huh? I want to hear more about your world and your culture. We'd love to. The festival will be keeping everyone plenty occupied. And I expect Cody and I will be running the joint, right? <laughs> Woodrow, we talked about this. <laughs> Just kidding, Charlie. I won't participate in the rescues. Hey, I'm not official. Did you bring us any cool gifts, Uncle Woodrow? From my safari? Dry roasted beetles. You can't eat just one. I'll take your word for it. Well, that's my cue. I'll see you all next week. Bye, Dad. We'll see be you fine, soon, we'll Charlie. Miss you. Have fun, Dad. Since I can't be seen without a driver, I will be walking home. Care to join me, Cody? Nah, little chief is cruising it old school with his uncle, right? You bet. See you at home, Chase. Of course. Enjoy the jalopy ride. Uh, this is Chase's spot. Ah, he won't mind. Besides, I need to get into the kitchen. I have big plans for dinner. Cool. What you fixing? Baked Hacka Louie. A little recipe I picked up in the Calliope rainforest. What's in it? A cornucopia of ingredients. But since you didn't have any eggs from the Wampoo Fruit Dove, I had to improvise. Yeah, smells like feet. Graham's feet. Tastes pretty good. Got a kick to it. Oh, crunchy. interesting. <laughs> Told you those roasted beetles were yummy. You're dripping oil, aren't you? This ought to be far enough. Now, let's get this over with. I have serious doubts these beacons will attract dolphins to the island, sir. The ad said they emit the whooshing sound of a swimming squid. Dolphins like squid. What could go wrong? You bought them at a flea market, Mayor. With a coupon. Look, it's this or you're wearing that dolphin costume. Um, let's check the directions. <laughs> check the directions. No need. The beacons are water activated. Yeah, with dolphins chasing these little wonders around the island, tourists will be here all week. <laughs> Says here to release one every 50 feet to avoid interference with boat operations. Time is of the essence, Mr. Alper. Come on. to school, Uncle Woodrow. Most of the time, I just take my hoverboard. No trouble at all, little chief. Gives me a chance to drive Chase. How you doing anyway, Chase? Fine, sir. Exactly how long will you and your car be in town? Emergency dispatch. Help! My yacht is on a collision course with the South Shore! <gasps> We're coming, Mr. Mayor. Team, the mayor's yacht is about to crash into the beach. We have to respond, Uncle Woodrow. Hot dog! I'm on a rescue! Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Attention, please evacuate the beach immediately. Go, go! Hurry! Go, go, go! My balloon! It's moving way too fast! It looks like the yacht is gonna hit before you guys get here. Danny, listen. Remember the game you used to play with your dolls and toy boats down by the creek? Yeah, why bring that up? Blades can be the ramp. Be, be the what? Be the what? I think it'll work, Danny. Hurry. Oh, boy. What? Oh, boy. You know I don't like oh, boys. Drop into the surf blades and convert to bot mode. Oh. Now, fall forward 
and prop yourself up. Oh, boy. Ugh. All the harebrained ideas. Hey, it worked. Here's... Someone is getting a medal for this. It's a water beacon, all right. Advertised as a dolphin lure. I wonder if the mayor was dropping those in the ocean. Wouldn't put it past him. Doesn't seem right making dolphins go where they don't want to. <laughs> and according to our own emergency responders, credit for this morning's Daring rescue belongs to Woodrow Burns. Good job, Uncle Woodrow. Yeah, Woodrow. Noble. <laughs> Therefore, until the return of Chief Burns, I am naming Woodrow temporary acting chief of Griffin Rock. I love Uncle Woodrow, but there's no way he's telling us how to do our jobs. Chief Woodrow, your reaction. <laughs> I'm speechless. Mayor, how about a few words? Though I am reminded of the time I was made honorary tribal leader for the tree people of Tatui. I was then expected to jump into an active volcano as a sacrifice to the lava gods. Whoa! I guess Uncle Woodrow is now official. Chase, I'm ready. Uh, ready for what, sir? Well, what does Charlie usually do? The chief can often be found working in the command center. Typically not wearing someone else's clothing. Danny, some dolphin balloons are tangled in the wind turbines and... You know, Danny, once when trying to get coconuts from a tall tree, I used a high-powered crossbow and... Uh, thanks, Uncle Woodrow. We'll just climb up. Kate! Reports of a grease fire in one of the festival food trucks. Whoa! Can't put water on a grease fire, Cade. Graham, get Boulder to bury the entire food truck with sand. What? We're equipped to handle grease fires, Unc. Thanks, though. <laughs> Uncle Woodrow, maybe you... Allow me. Emergency dispatch. What? Don't worry, I'll be right there. Take over, Cody. Chase and I are needed. A man's been trapped in a tree for over three hours. Poor Mr. Pennypaws. <laughs> but Uncle Woodrow, he's not a... He belongs to... I guess you'll figure it out. Clear. No breakfast. Oh, darn. I was looking forward to Uncle Woodrow's fried lizard tail omelets. I wonder where he is. Probably dabbing antiseptic on all the cat scratches he got from Mr. Pettypaws. <laughs> 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 oh, come on, guys. Un Uncle Woodrow, w w we didn't mean that. No, it's okay, kids. I, I know I get carried away. I guess. It just felt good being a part of this family. And don't worry, I'll stay out of the rescues. Well, nice one, guys. What? You're, You're the one who... Cade! Rescue team, we have an outright dolphin disaster on our hands. How can we have a festival of our main attractions are stranded upriver in the wetlands? Those dolphins won't survive like that much longer. Rescue bot! 
Shots! Roll to the rescue! Uncle Woodrow, come on! No, I promised to stay out of the way. Kay, Danny, and Graham were just goofing around. I'll be fine, Cody. But Chase needs a driver, right, Chase? That is correct, unless I want to walk, which I do not. <laughs> if you insist. Rescue bot, roll to the rescue! Uh, only Heatwave says that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> For some reason, the dolphin swam upriver here, then doubled back down into the wetlands here. I don't get it. Why can't they just swim back out? I imagine they're scared and confused. That I get. More beacons. They must have made a wrong turn and ended up here. And the dolphins followed them. Such beautiful creatures. We have to do something. We will. Better hurry. Dolphins can easily overheat out of the water. We'll grab those beacons. Bots, carry the dolphins over that berm to the river. The current will take them back out to sea. Got it. Let's move. <laughs> Sorry about all this, fella. these dolphins free before we run out of time. Like we have other options. I do have an idea. Uh, no offense, Unc, but... We need to do something. Uncle Woodrow, what do you have in mind? Well, if we can raise the water level, I think I can convince the dolphins to leap back into the river on their own. Convince the dolphins? Yeah, I used to communicate with the species quite a lot while exploring the Marshall Islands. Well, even if you could, Uncle Woodrow, how would we raise the water? Good news is, the wetlands are drained by only two outlets. And all we'd have to do is block those up, right? I say it's worth a try. All right, let's do it. I would like to see a certain convertible jalopy do that. Heatwave, bullhorn, please. This I gotta see. I'm a little rusty, but here goes. Come on, swim Just this way. Jump on over, dolphin. You can do it. The dams are failing. Ugh. Why isn't this working? I should have known better. Wait, Uncle Woodrow, you said you talked to the dolphins in the Marshall Islands. That's in the Pacific Ocean. Don't they have different dolphins there? Yes! I'm speaking Pacific white-sided dolphin, not Atlantic. <laughs> They're actually listening to him. I want to speak dolphin. Woodrow, don't ever think you're not part of this family. Only a Burns could pull something like that off. Now I see why people come out here to watch him. I want a dolphin. Well, maybe just one of those balloons? <laughs> the 
first of all is saved. Take it, Mr. Alper, you can change now. Mmm, homemade pizza. The perfect welcome home feast. Thanks for fixing it, Woodrow. I love cooking for my family. Mmm. Mm. Mm. No hint mm. of feet at all. I realize my culinary choices are kind of unusual. Once you get past first impressions, they're not so bad, are they? <laughs> Maybe kind of like me. That's my brother, an acquired taste. Mmm, this really is good. And some people don't think bat milk cheese is very tasty. <laughs> Kidding! Ever try milking a bat? They're very moody. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't really bat milk cheese, is it? Yeah. Although I will have to clean up your oil spot, you have safeguarded your humans. For that, you have my respect. Take care of everyone, little chief. Bye, Uncle Woodrow. Thanks again. So long, huh? Safe travels. See the postcard. I can't believe Bumblebee's coming back to Griffin Rock. This time, everything's going to be perfect for my BFF. BFF? Bot friend forever. Oh, is there room on the banner for that? Ugh, I think Welcome Bumblebee, Hero of the Galaxy, is plenty. Blades, Optimus Prime's transmission indicated that Bumblebee will not arrive for another three days. Way too soon. I haven't even learned to play an instrument for the welcome song yet. Did it ever occur to you that Bumblebee might be coming here for something important? Visiting me is important? Yeah. I wouldn't break out the balloons and party hats just yet. Here's the helium for the balloons, Blades. <laughs> oh. Cody, can you mail this for me? It has to go out today, and I kind of got my hands full here. Sure, sis. You spelled welcome wrong. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> you better run. Oh, nice kicks, Frankie. They're Dad's newest invention. Ski sneakers, water ski shoes. We're just going to test them. Want to come? Absolutely. As exciting as party planning is, it's times like this I'm glad I can turn into a boat. The science of my ski sneakers is simple. The soles take in surface water, then blast it out behind, creating propulsion. You will, in essence, be sea skating. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! This is so noble! But that isn't... what it's called? That and saving our lives. For which we are grateful. I'm afraid my lab wasn't as lucky. Where'd that wave come from, Doc? The possible causes of oceanic volatility are myriad. I'll be able to do more comprehensive research once I get my equipment repaired. Uh, Frankie, I may need to borrow your blow dryer. B-Day is finally here! 
and things are bumble beautiful. So, first I do a welcome speech, then the song, next the surprise. Remember, Cody, don't pull the rope until I yell, now. Now, got it. Then we start on my list of things for B to see and do. B is Bumblebee. Remember, the more fun we make his visit, the longer he'll stay. Oh boy. I have prepared some poetry in honor of Bumblebee's arrival. <clears throat> code seven, code seven, so unlike a code 11, regulations for the populace allow no calamity to topple us. I would continue, but I require a rhyme for protocol. This is my contribution. I call it Bumblebee and Optimus. Well, I think I can fit you two in after hiking and scrapbooking. <sighs> Everyone needs to amp down. Bumblebee's only visiting because Optimus sent him. Warrior Scouts don't get vacation time. He's here! He's here! He's here! <laughs> And now, a few words of welcome. It is with great honor that we... What do you mean there's no time to visit? I planned our week. Oh, you're here on a mission. What are the chances? Greetings, rescue bots. My team has detected a newly activated Cybertronian artifact on or near Griffin Rock. I am searching the surrounding ocean. Please assist Bumblebee in scouting the island. If you find the relic, alert me. Only the power of a prime can turn off this technology. An assignment from Optimus himself is truly an honor. Happy to help, Bumblebee. Let's go tell Chief about our new mission. But we can't leave now. <laughs> <laughs> Fossil hunting for an ancient alien artifact? Noble! Yeah, so what do we get if we win this scavenger hunt? It's not a game, Cade. Cybertronian technology is extremely fragile and dangerous. Ooh, well then you guys should have kept better track of it, huh? Keep better track of you. B says his sensor will beep when the artifact's close by. Okay, then let's start searching. Not so fast, Danny. I just got a call from the mainland that your helicopter license expired. What? No way! I sent in my renewal three days ago. Cody mailed it for me. I was gonna, but then Frankie showed up and we tested Doc's prototype and the wave hit us. And I forgot. Sorry, I'll do your chores for a week. <sighs> it's okay, Cody. It was my responsibility. But if you want to clean my room... I'll send your paperwork in. Until it's processed, you aren't allowed to fly blades. But Bumblebee needs our help! Besides, I'm the one who does all the flying, so can't she just... No. If someone saw Danny at your controls, her license could be gone for good. Rules are rules. Specifically, our safety rule 46306, subsection 7. But Danny can still drive, right? Maybe she could ride with B. Why would I mind sharing my partner with you? It'll be my two best friends riding together! I'm fine. I don't know what you said, but you are one sweet ride, Bumblebee. Powerful, fast, and smooth. Oh, uh, excuse me, Bumblebee. See that field ahead? Yeah, one time, Danny and I rescued a cow that got trapped in a barbed wire fence there. Oh, oh, and on the left is Courtney Bluff. Once. Plates, can we cut the chatter and focus on the mission? <sighs> yeah. Let's take that fire road and search the deep forest team. Oh, yeah, don't worry about me. I'll, I'll catch up. Eventually. It seems like we've covered every inch of this island. Well, Optimus only said the relic might be on the island. Perhaps he has already located the artifact somewhere offshore. We should probably head home to the firehouse and compare notes. <laughs> hey, finally! Oh, oh, Bumblebee, once we're back, we can watch my favorite movie. It's about these two friends who travel around together and have wacky adventures. Hey, guys, I just got a call from Captain Shaw. A right whale is swimming close to the ferry. Really close. People are overboard. 
We'll take care of it, Cody. Hold up, team! This is an air and sea rescue. Heat wave head for the ocean. Blades and I will meet you there. But what are Bumblebee and Danny gonna do? They'll wait back at home with Boulder and Chase. Land-based vehicles aren't much help on the water. So much for showing off my new rescue moves. So, Bumblebee, how about I give you a tour of the firehouse's upgrades since your last visit? Aw, oh, but I wanted to do that. Blades, stop eavesdropping on the comm channel. I didn't know whales swam so close to shore. Well, they don't, usually. That's what's weird. Cody, can you see if Doc's Ocean Lab picked up any data on the whale swimming patterns? Sure thing, Graham. All right, nice and easy, everyone. No shoving. The whale is not a man-eater. I think. Down a little. Left. And bingo. Done. Now we can get back to hanging out with Bumblebee. First, we need to tow this ferry into dry dock for repairs. Will that take a long time? Depends how fast we get started. First, the rogue wave. Now, the right whale going the wrong way. My instincts tell me there must be a connection, but my instruments show what is referred to among scientists as bubkis. Cody, have any other emergency calls come in about weird ocean stuff? Funky algae blooms, crazy riptides? Nope. Well, last week my dad said that Madeline Pinch asked for a permit to do some underwater drilling, but the mayor gave her a big thumbs down. And well, he should. It's far too dangerous to use mining equipment so near our island. Since when has the Pinch family ever taken no for an answer? We'll let your father know if we discover anything, Cody. Come, my little prawn. We're off to the sea lab to fish for answers. <laughs> was definitely not on our schedule of activities. Woohoo! Yeah. Way to go, Danny. You set a new training course speed record. <laughs> nice job, partner. Partner? But enjoy it while you can, sis. Me and Heatwave are about to crush your time. How about you, Chase? You want to take a crack at that record? As we determined the Cybertronian artifact is not on the island, I believe I have a new mission. Lots of luck beating B and D, the dynamic duo. What? But I'm your original B. That rhymes with me, and it stands for Blades. You're not upset, are you, Blades? This is a driving course. I, I didn't think you'd mind if I teamed up with B. <laughs> mind? Why would I mind? I don't mind. Oh, hey, I have an idea. You can be our pit crew. What does that mean? You sit on the sidelines, and you just... No, no, no. I think I've had enough of that for one day, thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a buddy movie to watch. B and Danny are supposed to be my best friends, not each other's. Now they don't even need me. But I do. Ah! <gasps> Optimus Prime, sir. How much of that did you hear? Enough. Where are Bumblebee and your fellow rescue bots? At the training course. Um, I can show you how to get. That it. is not necessary. You are the only bot I require. You? Want to hang out with me? The fate of this island depends upon it. I won't let you down, sir. Whoa, Optimus! I didn't know you were here. Should I get my dad? That will not be necessary, Cody. Blades can provide the assistance I need. Please inform Chief that we are on a mission. He said we, me and Optimus.
Optimus? Where are we? Ready for our mission, sir. Sir, I must admit, legally permitted unfettered speed is rather enjoyable. Give it all you got, Chase. We can catch Bumblebee on this straightaway. I believe this is what humans call hanging in there. Grab on! I'll pull you out! I apologize, Chief. Boulder assured me our racetrack was built to code. We'll investigate that later. Assuming there is a leader. Fishing does have a practical use. Please do not throw us back. We're not sure. Graham, any idea what caused the sinkhole? Yes, but it doesn't make much sense. The ground's soggy, super saturated with seawater. Not what you want to hear when you live on an island. We'd better call Doc. Um, Optimus, what is our mission exactly? Retrieval of the Cybertronian artifact. Some form of Earth technology has activated the relic. The relic turns everything in its path to liquid. Rock, organic matter, metal. If we do not shut it down soon, this entire island will become water. But then everyone on it would... Yes, that is why I need you to fly to the relic quickly and help me retrieve it from the ocean. Wait until I tell Danny and B. So... Where to, sir? I'm not entirely certain. The water's depth is interfering with my detection device. Sorry to interrupt, but I think I know someone in the neighborhood who can help. So we're looking for a liquidator. <laughs> I think you mean liquefier. That would explain the message we got from Chief about a sinkhole. Triangulating the firehouse chasm with the rogue wave and the lost whale, I may be able to pinpoint the artifact. Cody. Please inform Optimus I will forward the data as soon as possible. Sooner than possible would be better, Doc. Dad, Griffin Rock's in deep trouble, and it's getting deeper. Geysers, flooding, and sinkholes, right? The mayor just called. Forward us the 411 and the 911s, Cody. We'll split up and take each emergency as it arises. Rescue bots? <laughs> and honorary rescue bots. Roll to the rescue. Late. The signal source should be three degrees southeast of your current location. Thanks, Chuck. We're on our way. I am grateful that you were willing to temporarily leave your team to assist me. Optimus, helping you is, I mean, you're bigger than Elvis. I have not met this Elvis and I'm unaware of his size. But have you no concern that your partner will feel left out of this mission? No, Danny can't fly right now. But she wouldn't mind anyway, because what we're doing is for everyone. Indeed, for a team to reach its full potential, there is no room for jealousy among peers. Okay, this isn't about Danny anymore, is it? I believe we have reached our destination. This mechanism likely activated the Cybertronian relic. Lower me. Cody, are you seeing this? That's Madeline Pinch's drilling platform. But the mayor told her she couldn't use it. Oh, someone's gonna be in trouble. Yeah, the whole island. Please be advised that all lanes are temporarily carpools.
Problem solved. Not even close. Guys, terra firma is getting less firm by the minute. Tell me about it. Drive to high and dry ground. You'll be okay. Liquefying artifact no longer operational. Your island should regain its former solidity by tomorrow. That's too long to wait, guys. They call it quicksand for a reason. Try to stay still, Daddy. We're on our way. Blades? I'm flying as fast as I can. I am slowing you down. Good luck. Thank you, Optimus. Oh. I wish Bumblebee knew how to do an air rescue. make great partners thanks for being there for Danny when I couldn't bumblebee ah, from your reaction I'm guessing you didn't actually say beep bloop beep huh he said that's what it means to be on a team we're all partners when did you learn bumblebee I didn't I just know it's the truth <laughs> <laughs> 